Well, Hockey Day in Warroad is finally upon us with a slew of outdoor hockey games and a host of hockey-related festivities running all day. But amid all the pomp and circumstance, the Warriors are just trying to prepare for a hockey game that also happens to be the marquee matchup with rival Rozo. Last year, the boys were an overtime goal away from a state title and perfect season. This year, they're 15-3 so far, yet still find themselves in a familiar spot atop the state rankings in Class A after knocking off previous number one, Hermantown, a week ago. A win the squad credits to their evolution as a team and one the Warriors hope they can build on tomorrow when they take on the Rams. We're getting closer as a team and there's a lot of new guys and uh... I think we're all getting better as the season went on. We had a tough loss against Rosa before, so I think just after that game, it really showed us that we need to pick it up and uh, do a little better. Obviously, that game is always big, but when you put it on a, on a stage like Hockey Day, it just makes it bigger. And our town's going to have maybe five times more people in it than it usually does with all the people coming in, and I'm sure their stands will be packed over there, but it's going to be awesome, I think, and I'm really excited to play them. And here is a look at tomorrow's schedule. The Warriors girls taking on Lakeville North at 930, followed by Moorhead Wyzetta at 1, and then the biggest rivalry in the state of hockey, Warroad versus Rozo at 430. And we will have the highlights from all that and coverage of that on Monday. Yeah, looking forward to that. Should be a fun day up there. I'm excited for it. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.